In previous videos, we saw that Solomonoff introduced a natural prior over computable probability distributions by invoking the length of the description of this computable probability distribution in the language of a universal Turing machine, or in fact, in any Turing complete programming language. This actually led Solomonoff to introduce in 1960 a measure of complexity of any task, like say recognizing cats in images with 99% accuracy, beating AlphaGo at the game of Go, or passing the Turing test. Namely, Solomonov defined the complexity of a task as the length of the shortest code that successfully solves the task. This complexity is also known as Kolmogorov's complexity, who invented it independently three years later. Actually, fun fact, Solomonov would later win the Kolmogorov Prize for the invention of Kolmogorov's complexity. Because Kolmogorov is largely known for many other discoveries, including the axiomatization of probability theory, and because Solomonov introduced Kolmogorov complexity before Kolmogorov, here I'll call this measure of complexity the Solomonov Kolmogorov complexity. Even though, in fact, this concept was introduced even earlier, uh, intuitively, by Alan Turing in his famous 1950 paper, where he also introduced the Turing test and machine learning. So, to recapitulate, the solomonov kolmogorov complexity of a task is essentially the number of lines of codes that must be written to program a machine to solve this task. And as Turing argued, this measure is critical to understand why machine learning will outperform human written codes on many tasks. After all, if a task requires algorithms with a trillion lines of codes to be solved, then no human nor any group of humans will be able to solve the task by programming it by hand. To solve the task, they will need algorithms that essentially write most of the algorithm's code, and this is what Turing called learning machines. Having said all of this, there remains one key feature of Solomonov's definition that may seem unsatisfactory, namely the solomonov kolmogorov complexity depends on the programming language used to describe the algorithms to solve the task or on the Turing machine that indirectly defines the machine language that ought to be used. And on this issue, I really want to cite Solomonov himself. I'm quoting. For quite some time, I felt that the dependence of Solomonov's induction on the reference machine was a serious flaw in the concept, and I tried to find some objective universal device free from the arbitrariness of choosing a particular universal machine. When I thought I finally found a device of this sort, I realized that I really didn't want it, that I had no use for it at all. And the key reason why Solomonov did not consider that the subjectivity of the prior he defined or of the complexity measure he introduced was an issue is by virtue of an important theorem that he and independently Kolmogorov proved that says that the solomonov kolmogorov complexity can be essentially defined up to a constant. More precisely, the solomonov kolmogorov theorem says that for any two universal Turing machines M and N, there exists a constant C such that for any task T, the complexity of T measured by machine M will be at least its complexity measured by machine N minus C, and at most its complexity measured by machine N plus C. Moreover, the value of C will be very reasonable in practice for any basic Turing machines M and N. In fact, it will be essentially the length of a compiler that transforms executable codes for machine M into executable codes for machine N and vice versa. After all, if I have a program PM that solves task T on machine M, then I can simply combine it with the compiler C of M to N and I would obtain a program PN, which is the composition essentially of the compiler and the program PM. And this program will be a program that is executable on machine N and that solves task T. Moreover, its length will be at most the length of the program M plus the length of the compiler, which critically does not depend on the task T. In particular, this means that when we consider tasks T whose complexity is large enough, typically in the billions or in the trillions, then the solomonov kolmogorov complexity K of T will be essentially independent from the universal Turing machine it is defined on. This is what makes this measure so relevant to understand the challenges of modern computer science and the naturalness of Solomonov's induction. There's, however, one teeny tiny issue with the complexity measure, and actually it's a big issue, namely, like Solomonov's induction, the solomonov kolmogorov complexity is uncomputable, but I will need a full other video and maybe a couple of more videos to explain this.